Merry Christmas Eve to all celebrating and this very exciting every year NORAD, which stands for the North American Aerospace Defense Command, helps us officially track Santa's journey. And joining us this morning to answer all of your burning questions is General Glenn Van Herc. Good morning, General. Thank you so much for joining us. I know that this is a busy day for all of you. So tell me a little bit about what NORAD is. Well, NORAD is a binational command with the Canadians in the defense of North America. Uh, we've been at this uh, NORAD track center for 67 years. Uh, we do aerospace warning. So if it's an uh, aircraft or emanates from space, uh, we'll track that. If it is a threat to North America, we'll do aerospace control. And we also provide maritime warning 365 days a year. And each Christmas Eve, we have a special mission that's tracking Santa Claus. So tell me about that very special mission. How did you get in the business of doing that? Well, it started, uh, as I said, 67 years ago when a, a department store flyer uh, accidentally uh, published a phone number in their flyer that uh, was the incorrect phone number. It actually rang in the Continental Air Defense Command headquarters. And when the colonel answered the phone, he realized it was a young child looking for Santa Claus to track Santa mm -hmm. Claus. That started the tradition. And how many people would you say watch Santa's path on NORAD? It's millions and millions. Uh, we, we get more than 150,000 calls. Last year alone uh, on our uh, social media, we had more than 14 million uh, visits on the NORAD Track Santa website. Uh, Amazon Alexa had more than 8 million. So you can ask Amazon Alexa where Santa is and OnStar as well if you have an OnStar equipped vehicle. So tell me. How do you guys track Santa? How do you know exactly where he is? Well, it starts with the radars that uh, we talk about in the North uh, Warning System across Canada and, and Alaska that see uh, Santa as he takes off from the North Pole. Once Rudolph's nose is visible, it em emanates heat, so infrared satellites can see him and track him all over the globe, followed by our fighters, fighters uh, from Canadian uh, CF-18s, US F-15, F-16s, and F-22s. Well, the reindeers are sure up for it this evening into the morning because we've had some wild weather lately. And I think everyone wants to know, will Santa still be able to make his trip around the world? Yeah, absolutely. We're tracking him right now in the Solomon Islands. Uh, I don't expect the weather to create any problems for Santa Claus. History has shown that he's uh, capable of getting through any weather around the globe. Okay, that's good news. We love that because we know ye, we have some kids that may be watching. They may be anxious to see a visit from Santa tomorrow morning. What are some things you want to say to them? Well, for the kids, well, you know, the weather's not going to impact Santa, but what could be is uh, your naughty or nice list. Be on the nice list and be in bed by 9 p.m. or so. Santa's looking for those kids that are in bed, and then that's when he normally shows up at your house. Are there any North Pole messages from the little elves that have been working so diligently? Um, any messages for the parents that are watching today? We know it may be a difficult year for some, it may be a marvelous year for some, but so many people are looking forward to this tomorrow. Well, the elves in Santa Claus, uh, they see everybody out there and they're gonna show up as long as you're a believer and you've been uh, a nice and you're in bed to everybody's house around the globe. So we look forward to that uh, visit. We look forward to tracking him over the next 20 hours or so. Okay, I have one more question. Can you tell me if Santa knows if I'm on the naughty or nice list? Well, I can't tell you that. Only Santa knows whether you're on the naughty or nice list. Man, all right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, General Van Herc. Good luck today. And I know that we're both wishing Santa very smooth travels. Thank you.